All right, you guys, it's the show, it's a show, it's a show, the asshole cooking show, it's a show. Okay, today we're going to do a video on uh, these uh, Old El Paso Taco uh, mix. I've already you've ate them, and since this is the asshole cooking show, I'm going to tell you, you know, you can just throw, I'm going to break, uh, I'm not going to do any rules. You can uh, do what you like, have nothing but meat, or even nothing but veggies. So this one is going to be nothing but meat. Plus, whatever veggie I have, I have a tendency to eat salads and eat all my veggie, even if I intend to have a taco like you see in this picture. So I'm going to tell you it doesn't matter. There's, uh, But I am going to have cheese, because I have a lot of this cheese. But occasionally, I'll get a lot of cheese and just use the cheese for all kind of stuff. So, but... Anyway, we're going to get started. I got my meat started cooking, my ground meat. And um, that was the first step, but we're going to examine this box real quick. What you're getting here is taco shells, soft and hard. And they're like, they're little ones. But these soft ones, I have, uh, I didn't show it in a video, but I've made um, the soft ones where they're big as a pizza crust. And one of these days, I'm going to make a pizza out of one of them instead of the bread show. You can do that if you want to with a soft one. But they come in a, coming in a bag like this. Oh, I got this taco seasoning mix, too, that I bought a whole bunch of these. And we're going to throw that in there after my meat is cooked. So I got this out of the box. Damn it, I dropped the box on the floor. But then now uh, we got some of these. So I'm going to open them up and... And what I'm going to do with my cheese is a little bit a bit different. If you stay tuned here, as soon as I get my meat cooked, the next step, we're going to show you this. Okay, we're going to drain the uh, grease here. I'm going to go like this and dump this grease in the sink. doesn't get all messed up here is uh our taco stuff i have it open for now but um up here we're going to throw our taco seasoning in um like that i had um take care of that we're gonna mix it up a little bit And I got this on like a lower heat too, and because it's already cooked. Because my trick I'm going to do now too is I'm going to just take this cheese, damn it, get it open. And I'm going to throw some of this cheese in here and mix it. The reason being, it's going to melt in here a little bit. Still going to throw some on in the, talk, in the tacos, but going to heat this up a little more so the cheese melts in there a little bit because then it'll stick. It's kind of, I got this kind of in chunks here. Going to move it around a little bit. If I didn't gr get out every single little bit of grease and all that, but... So there's a little bit of greasiness so this don't get stuck up, but I got it real simmer and I'm just I'll try to go like that a little bit to get the cheese to stick. But I want a little bit of cheese to stick in in there so the meat don't fall apart. Then when I take chunks out and we're just gonna throw it right into the shells. But then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on top of there for looks but because if you want to put your lettuce your lettuce in your your veggies or just have veggies by itself i want to do another video with nothing but veggies with these tacos that you can do that but i would have been able to do that too but i'm out of veggies i make my salads and everything else so that's my excuse but since this is the asshole cooking show it's just a thing like say you want to whip up a quick snack whether you have some veggies or some meat laying or laying around a little bit there too 
you can just do that here at home. You don't have to worry about if it you don't have to worry about if it looks exactly like this. I mean, you want to throw your lettuce and tomato in there, especially with the soft talk. Uh, excuse me, especially with the soft tacos. Roll it up in there. and Oh, I, when you roll it up in there with just the veggies and hardly any meat, there were fast food chains that sold those as wraps. I remember Long John Silver's when my sister worked there for years. So many different, so many different uh, places, they called them wraps. <laughs> so, so this box, if you don't know if you want hard or soft, you know, you got the best of both worlds. You can do what you like. Just get yourself some cheese or the seasoning mix or you don't even have to use, you know, do everything right. So there, I got this kind of, um, they're heated up so that, so that's melted in there like a little bit. All right, the hell with it. Let's throw all the rest of it in because this is not a totally full bag. You know, just well, this is like there's not much more cheese in the, in here anyway. I'm just gonna go like this. I turned the heat off and it's like melt a little bit. But like, if you want to add extra cheese, because there, see, I'm gonna just gonna put it like that in a taco so the cheese ain't now this bit of cheese I put in there ain't totally melted it kind of it'll look pretty cool when I put it in the shells put this in the shells now this stuff out the way and I gotta get another dish here damn it Let's put this over here so that I was using I'm gonna go ahead and serve these I'm gonna start with one of these try to hold this camera myself here too I'm gonna do one of these and one of these yeah one of these we'll use one of these like first this kind of over here damn it kind of want to like show you here and it's gonna fall over but anyway I'm using only one hand but hold on well first of all I just do this real quick just put some in this, just like that, and I'm going to take it and just roll it up, squeeze it kind of tight and just, there you go, there's the one, then I want to use this and prop it up against here, and we're going to just spoon it all in there, you know what I mean? Just go ahead and like serve it this is going to be dinner for two. Oh, god damn it get in there oh there you go in there don't move good enough just like that all right so there's okay there's your taco not bad for just doing everything by myself, holding the camera just by myself and doing it. And uh, so we'll just repeat the process, but I'm going to pause with the camera and do this with two hands and just show you what everything's like on a dish. And it's all in the presentation here. I just, the plate, you know, that's not exactly how a professional chef would do but it's something that, you know, while you're watching tv and stuff or like late night or anything do what you like throw it in there you know what i mean and when you're at home you know who the hell cares that's why this is the asshole cooking show you know you can graduate yourself in practice by trying to make it more nice and pretty but there it is there's that's your tacos and I'm going to try to make one all, do one on all veggie episode eventually. Like I said, I just, even if I have things that are for veggies, like just for a meal, I have this habit of just if I'm in a mood for something, eat all the, eat all the, uh, fruit or eat all the veggies. And then, uh, eh, sometimes you just don't know what the hell you're doing and you just do whatever the hell you feel like. But there it is. So, um, yeah, th 
Thank you for watching the show, the show, the show, the asshole cooking show. This has been the show.